So let's take a look at an example of how perpetual licensing works. So for instance, open value. Let's say your client were to start a new open value agreement in 2008. You'll notice they now have perpetual licensing rights for the software they acquired. So in this example, let's say they purchased Microsoft Office Professional Plus. So upon the start of their agreement, they now have perpetual licensing rights for Microsoft Office Professional Plus. They can use Office for as long as they want to. They are going to actually acquire those licenses. You will also notice they have three years of software assurance benefits. So during those three years, they will receive all the software assurance benefits, such as the upgrade protection, the e-learning courses, the office home use rights, all included inside software assurance. Now at the end of three years, they have the option to renew their software assurance or not. So in this first example, let's say they choose to renew their software assurance. Through Open Value Perpetual, they would simply renew the software assurance component because they've already acquired the licenses themselves in the first three years. They don't need to buy the license again, so it's just renewing the software assurance. By doing so, they will have an additional three years of software assurance benefits. Now what happens if they choose not to renew their software assurance benefits? As you'll notice, they still have the Office per Perpetual Licensing rights that they acquired in the initial three years. So they can use Office for as long as they want to. What will expire, though, is all of the software assurance benefits. So they'll lo no longer have upgrade protection. They'll no longer have the e-learning courses. They'll no longer have the Office Home Use rights. All of the software assurance benefits will expire, but they still own the rights to run Microsoft Office for the licenses they acquired.